we plugged in the Picket 3, it's flashing away. The computer instantly had a message on it saying setting it up and it's already installed the driver automatically on Windows 10. Okay, we've connected it to the computer as you just saw and it's come up with this. The Picket 3 is in MP lab mode. Use the tools menu to download an operating system compatible with this application. So let's go tools and it go down here, download Picket operating system. Let's click that, see what happens. Ah, it looks like we have to find it, so okay. You can see here, the MCLR one is missing a pin, but that's fine, we've, gotten a, we've made a, um, a connector up for that, one second. So this is the connector we've made up, it's basically two female ends and we're gonna pin one onto the M M L C R. M C L R. Right, we've got it on there. And to make sure there's a connection, I'll get my little electrical tester <clears throat> just test we've got, uh, you know, a continu cont continuity from the pin to the end of the uh, female connector. So we touch these together, we get a beep. We'll touch the pin there and the end of the other connector. And we'll get a beep. So we know that it's definitely connected to the MCLR connector. And last look at the configuration here. Let's have a good look. Try and keep still. You need to get the MCLR there and you need to get it the white arrow here. in line with the, well we've kept, we put the black cable on this side, just so black on that side as well, and then we've just followed the order here. So at the top, and then just follow down, don't mix up the wires. This is what it looks like going into the picket machine. Another place I've been looking is my friend here, IK3SSG, who's made a video doing pretty much what I'm doing now. And this link was very valuable here. Click this and you get the a nice uh, file download here with, uh, with items that you need. Let's quickly show you what's in it. Uh, it's got the software and then you've got these files here and you need these files to set things up. So um, there's your little picket XE, and when you run the XE, uh, you'll get this window here, okay? And when you, just let you know now, when you connect your picket three, you'll go, need to go to tools, check communication first, yeah? And then after that, you'll need to go download picket operating system. So we're gonna go tools, and then we're going to go, we've done the check communication, so we're going to go download Picket. And we're going to find that where we saved that file. So desktop created a file called Picket. And double click here, and look, it says here, yeah, hex. I'm guessing this is like the base hex that they all use. So I'm double click that. Downloading Picket 3 bootloader. So hopefully that's going to complete. Let's assume, and it should fill all this up with a bit of luck. I hear it reboot. Let it keep rebooting the actual picket machine. Yeah, there we are. We can now see the picket three connected ID equals default, blah, blah, blah. Right, so I think we're where we need to be now. Okay, we've rebooted and we've fired it up and you've seen the configuration. I'll show it again, the connection and the cables and all that. And we are connected. It says here, device pick 16F, blah, blah, blah. It's talking to the EEPROM. So the numbers we're looking at for five, for 40 watt and 5 watt, you know, up to 5 watt, is this number here, which looks correct to me, the one that says 40, and this one here that says 05. So the next one I'm going to try and find is how you can make this ATU automatically tune without having to press the button. So before you make changes, it makes sense to export a copy of your, of what we'll call, what they call the hex. So just go file export hex 
and then in the same I put it in my picket file give it a name yeah I've already got one here called my hex and just save it so that way if you do make any mistakes um, I'm gonna click no there um, I'm gonna cancel that I don't want to overwrite anything so I'm gonna go file export I'm gonna go my copy sorry about this let's delete it back I'm gonna go my copy to my copy to and then just save it so we've saved everything so if we get it wrong that's fine so then we're gonna make changes so um, one change we I think is popular is some people like to get rid of the fact that you have to even push the button and that's the third one here so all you do is just click it here change zero one sorry zero over zero to zero one okay and then you can save that again if you want file save and I'll just call it no button no button okay so we've saved that copy as well and now we're already connected to our hex we're just going to go back to um, program and write write device and you, I hear the device click there and it writes that in so now once that's written in what I'll do is I'll read it and make sure um, programming successful as you can see and now if I read it we should have that one here now but the numbers that actually mattered uh, which is the five here yeah which is I think means it's the five watt version uh, so I think it makes it kick in at uh, five watts um, I wouldn't mind lowering that to be honest and then that it's a 40 40 um, uh, watt Q QRP ATU so what I'll do I will read it I'll go click read device we hear it click again it's gonna read it and nothing should change because we've uh, oh it's still saying um, O1 here O O here so it hasn't saved those settings I wonder why that is you think it would anyway we'll have a look in a minute so we're gonna save it again after some changes so we're just gonna go f uh, file export hex we've got the no button so we're gonna call it the no button one again and save that and click yes so a quick video of it booting up Just to show it doesn't need the tuning button anymore, so we'll just go 7 megs. Normally we'd have to reset and then push the tuning button, so we'll, we'll just give it a quick key here on 5 watts. And you can hear it tuning there, so no need for a button. We will reset it, um, and then we'll do it again. And it tunes, so there's no need to hold it down to get the, the tune button. So 7-3, uh, all the best.